Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead and say a prayer and then make a wish because it is about to be 11, 11 a.m. as there is a hurricane in London. Our hurricane or low pressure system winter storm Eunice or whatever you want to call it. There is a wild, wild scene going on within the atmosphere right, right now. All the way from Texas straight across the pond to like the Netherlands and Germany. Look at this big wheel that keeps on turning. This is from uh, the UK, I believe. It is a giant wheelie bin, which is a way of, they're called trash can on wheels, I guess. That is just floating and hovering in the air. Oh no, I'm having audio problems. But this is definitely something you don't see every single day. Yeah. It's like an alien ship, but it's just a trash can. Oh man, I don't want to sound like a daft lad. So maybe I better leg it out of here with the um, unhip slang. Man, but don't get dodgy and gobsmacked just because sometimes it feels like real life has lost the plot and taken the piss at the same time. They say it is National Drink Wine Day. And... um. I'm trying to be more zen while throwing a monthly Thor News fundraiser. Yeah, I do a fundraiser every month so I can continue as your planetary defense commander to bring you excellent content all the time in this ever-changing world of ours. These are crazy days, so watch your step and play defense. Things are dangerous and weird all over and as I've, as I've been noting a lot of things seem to be catching on fire or breaking abc news reporting that the portuguese air force rescues the crew of a burning cargo ship that was reportedly carrying more than a thousand luxury vehicles to the us of a and so yeah there are definitely weird supply chain issues of all different kinds you know what i'm saying yeah, high wind watches in Cheyenne and parts of Europe have seen over 100 mile per hour wind gusts. And within the last hour, the Kremlin is like, the situation in East Ukraine's Donbass is potentially very dangerous. And news out of the region is very alarming to them. So the conditions of Earth are still kind of strained right now. I'm really hoping everybody will start to calm down and chill out, get more of a surfer's attitude as we step into Pisces season 2022. But it's definitely a high energy day for sure. Absolutely. And rumors have it, Al Gold, the Demon Star energies around today. So things could get extra weird. But then those are rumors. Always take them with a grain of salt. Here, we're looking at a record high wind gust reports broken across parts of the East USA today on Thursday. And then, hey, chap, eh? Um... 101.1, wait, 100.1 miles per hour, or like 134, 38 kilometers at Needle's old battery. Oh, don't be throwing a wobbly. Okay. Hey, I'm chuffed, which means that they're happy and delighted, even though I'm skinned, which means I'm kind of sort of broke. I'm going to have a little bit of money. Enough to drive to the ocean tomorrow and get donuts today. I was even thinking about getting a 50% off box of chocolates. Because, I mean, if it's going to be World War III in Russia and Ukraine and, you know, and World War III and Fiat and crypto and everybody fighting and angry all the time, then I guess it's easy to live for today with creature comforts and comfort foods. Yeah, there are definitely reports that power outages are popping, so says Science Sue Nelson. Yeah, it's a hurricane in London. Which is kind of like me playing on words on the show, the movie, Werewolves in London. Or the Warren Zevon song, Werewolves in London. It's not every day you get to see Europe plastered in the gob with a blowy. 
Did I say that properly without offending anyone? It was not my intention to inf offend anyone. In these trying times where everyone is super stressed out, I'll remind you in Hong Kong, they now have the, the virus exploding and causing major problems. And so it's hard to get a feel that like, okay, it will finally disappear at spring or summer. If it is, if it's, if it's still exploding at different places across the world, as we've seen it do for like two years and two months, will that shit calm down ever? God, I pray so. Jesus Christ, I pray so. And you may pray to whoever you want to today. But I do ask you to pray for peace and health for everybody on Earth. Hashtag Team Earth. Okay. Look at the size of that storm in the Pacific. Supposedly on the 23rd. Wow. And after here, Storm Eunice is going to push on as still a pretty strong storm through the Netherlands and Denmark and Germany. And, and then we got the sunspot, which let out one of the biggest coronal mass ejections that we'd seen ever will be turning towards earth soon and the sunspot is supposedly huge says solar doctor tamitha school and this is the same sunspot that knocked out 40 starlink satellites are elon musk and the sun getting along question mark these are definitely strange days and i hope everybody does their best to stay cool and wish harm upon no one but yeah, the virus situation in Hong Kong is so bad, they will be delaying the chief executive election for more than a month. The Coast Guard rescued a mariner from a natural gas tanker 150 miles off Florida's east coast. Natural gas has been in the news lately, across the globe as well. I mean, look at this. North Devon News, tree down in Bood. This is from the storm. And I would guess that tree has been up for hundreds of years. Or maybe they just planted it. Those roots don't seem very deep. But who knows, man? Poor tree. Wow. And Israel says it intercepted a drone from Lebanon. So, and then we've still got that issue at the Canada-USA border. Like it's, isn't it weird that a lot of people at the very, hopefully, end of a pandemic are fighting about borders? But you know, fighting about bo international national borders has been an age-old tradition for thousands of years. Jeff Mihaly, you could say it's one of humanity's favorite pastimes to just argue about borders. This dude got stuck in a pretty massive dust storm while shooting in the dunes of Death Valley. This was, I think, yesterday. It was like Mother Nature's talking. Are you listening? Yeah, this is the first time they've ever issued a danger to life warning to parts of the United Kingdom. Code Red. That is definitely an angry sea, but technically it's an ocean. Crazy days indeed, my friends. And hey, folks, on the northeast coast, here comes a clipper. And then you got snow in Letterkenny, Donegal, this morning from Storm Eunice. And then the triangle that shows up on the bottom of the sun sometimes has showed up again. And, you know, I've been doing Thor news for over nine years, and I've been talking about this triangle pretty much the whole time. It always just shows back up. And I'm like, hey, what are you doing? I think you're cool. I'm not threatened by it. Civilization is still standing. This kind of looks like a bird, like the peacemaker symbol. I don't know. You, you can figure it out for yourself, I guess. Hey, I will keep everybody posted. Because you guys are fantastic. God bless everyone. Stay cool.